Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Ascension Presents. Two things about wrestling with God. That's gonna be the whole video. Just two quick, two quick, two brief things. Number one is so, so often people will come to me because they feel bad that they're wrestling with God. They feel bad that they're struggling with God. They feel bad that God is calling them to do something and they're just not willing to do it right now. And I totally understand that. But they feel bad about themselves. They're accusing themselves. They're condemning themselves about this wrestling match. What most often is the case, I want to say this to you, maybe that's you right now. What sometimes is most often the case is that wrestling match is part of getting closer to God. Sometimes it's the wrestling where you get in contact with the Lord. It's, it's what you have to actually go through in order to be ready to take that next step of breakthrough. Here's what I mean. Okay, so for years I was like, God, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to be? You want me to be a priest? Not, not a priest? I don't know. And so sometimes there was this wrestling match, even when I got to seminary. This is where the real wrestling happens, right? Where it's just like, okay, I'm going back and forth. And I'm like, God, like, I don't know, sometimes there's pain and sometimes there's, there's joy, but sometimes there's a real sorrow and sometimes there's real happiness. But just like this back and forth, to stay away from God in that, to not wrestle with Him, would A, be keeping your distance from the Lord, would B, not being authentic, not being honest with the Lord, because when we wrestle with God, we're being honest and saying, God, here's what I truly want, but you're calling me somewhere else. And it's, your, it's that process of conforming your heart to His heart, to for, the process of love, learning to love what He loves, that's what happens when we're wrestling. It brings us into contact with God, helps us be honest with God, and it, by that process, we become more like God. He becomes our God, in fact. You know, there's this famous story of Jacob wrestling with God, essentially wrestling with the angel. It's in Genesis chapter 34, 32. Jacob is going to go re-meet, he's going to meet his brother Esau, from whom he kind of swindled in a little bit, uh, he kind of swindled uh, the birthright, the blessing. Uh, from their father. And he has been a kind of a conniver his whole life. And now Jacob, the night before, he's going to meet his brother. He might lose everything. His brother might kill him. Jacob wrestles with the angel. And what you notice is that God doesn't say, Jacob, you shouldn't be wrestling with me. In fact, God engages the wrestling match with Jacob. He, Jacob is never corrected for wrestling with God. He's never, he's never lectured for, lec for wrestling with God. In fact, in the midst of the fight, uh, the angel of God says, let me go. And Jacob says, I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. Powerfully, God doesn't curse him for wrestling with him. He actually blesses him. Jacob's not cursed for wrestling with the angel. He's not cursed for wrestling with God. He's blessed because he's wrestled with God. Why? Because he's been in contact with God. Because he is being honest with God. And because he's becoming more and more like God. And this is the, this is the reality that we're all called to be as well. We're called to wrestle with God. If there's a thing that he's calling you to, but you're just like, I don't want to, to run away from him is the worst thing. To wrestle with him is maybe, is maybe the thing you need to be doing. But here's the second thing. What I'll find sometimes is people who are wrestling with God, but he's not trying to wrestle back. What I mean by that is they're picking a fight with God. And so they, in their prayer, they're like, God, you're, gonna, you're, you're going to want to make me do this thing. I know it. It's this thing that they're fighting God over something he's never asked them to do. They're resisting God over something he's asked. So here's, here's an example. I know God wants me to be a nun. I know he wants me to be a nun. I don't want to be a nun. And so all my prayer is about how God doesn't want me to be a nun and I'm fighting with him over it. You have to pause in a second and say, how do you know? How do you know he wants me to be, or like be a priest? Like, hey, I know he's, he wants me to be a priest. I don't want to do that. Or he wants me to go to school here. I don't want to do that. He wants me to do this. And say, pause just one second. Maybe he's going to ask you to do that. Maybe that's part of what his, his call is for you. But you don't actually know that. And he hasn't asked you of that. He hasn't asked you to do that right now. So instead of wrestling with God, you're just picking a fight with God over what he might someday call you to in the future. But he's not calling you to it now. Right now he's just calling you to be his. Right now he's just calling you to be loved by him. Right now he's calling you to whatever the, the call of the day is, not the call of someday. Does that make sense? So, two things. If, you're, if, you, if you know God's calling you to something, it's okay to wrestle because it gets you into contact with him, it makes, makes you honest with him, and it makes you more like him. But also, if he's not calling you to do something today, but he might maybe someday call you to do something in the future, you don't have to pick a fight with God. It's, it's kind of a waste of your time. The great thing about this is before Jacob wrestled with the angel, before his name was changed to Israel, uh, God was referred to as the God of Abraham and Isaac. 
after Jacob wrestled with the, with the angel, after God, Jacob wrestled with God, God was then, from then on, he was known as the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He's known as the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel because he was willing to be in contact with God, to be honest with God, and to be conformed more and more like God. So, don't be afraid to wrestle. Stop picking fights with God. Oh, quick, one quick thing. Um, Father Mark Toops, Sister Miriam Hedlin, and Father Josh Johnson have teamed up once again to produce this thing called Rejoice, basically another journey through Advent. The last two Advents, they have given us these incredible resources. We can just like walk with Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Well, not, not, jo not Jesus, I guess, but Mary and Joseph, <laughs> we're always walking with Jesus. We can walk with the Holy Family through Advent all the way to Christmas. Again, get your copy of Rejoice as soon as you can. Go to ascensionpress.com. You can get it there. Sister Miriam, uh, Father Mark Toops, and Father Josh Johnson, phenomenal guides uh, for your Advent this year. Anyways, my name is Father Mike. God bless. For all of us here at Ascension Presents, God bless. I meant to say.